moving to the other side. Now, a wonderful thing to do, you'll notice that I have her elevated, and I realize that most people do not have a grooming table. You can also do this on the tailgate of your truck, on your porch stairs, or if you have a picnic table, but you are much safer, and the dog is going to feel, uh, uh, will feel less uh, confined if you have them elevated. Good. Now, I just want to do a close-up of the foot here. You can see that when her foot is straight, that her nails are actually touching the ground. Okay? If these got any longer, that would be pushing the toes up, and that causes arthritis all the way up into every joint. So it's really important that the nails, you know, that we don't worry so much about, oh, I hope I don't accidentally pinch them, that we actually cause them a chronic and irreversible problem. Now see, this leg bends a totally different direction. Okay, good girl. And the back nails in an act active dog, easy girl, um, are generally shorter. Easy, they get more wear and tear. Easy, I know, I, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. I'm just very patiently holding. Easy, easy, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, good. You can also flip it down like this, and that's pretty comfortable. There we go. Easy. Uh, 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 uh. So I want to take off as much as I can without hitting that quick. And you notice this one is real close to the tip. So I just want to take a little bit off on that one. Good girl. All right. Let's get this one. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch sides. Being a good girl. Now, <clears throat> if I tried to get someone to hold her and confine her, or if I tried to do this on the floor, I can assure you that we would all be wrestling, covered in saliva. No. Come here, Mama. I know. And sometimes you can just come right down here and get it from that position, too. And I can see this one. I can take a whole lot more on. This generally is not as easy with the front nails to do it with this position. Good. There we go. Good job, sweet girl. Now, uh, if you do quick them, um, and sometimes it bleeds a great deal, even though it's just the world's tiniest little pinch, um, you might want to have some styptic powder on hand. If you don't have any on hand, baking soda, uh, baking soda will work just as good. You just wet your finger, dip it in there. I know, I know. And you just press it to the end of the nail, and then um, that'll help stop that. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this quick tutorial on nail trims. If you have any questions about this or any other behavioral issues with your dog, please give us a call here at Lara's Canine Solutions. Thank you.